haven't seen you in forever. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh my gosh, you said that? Oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god, that is so cute. Morning. Hi, Anne Angela. Hey. Here, let me get it. I got it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How do I look? I know it's only been nine months, but I don't know. I feel like I lost a step or two. Oh, you look great. Ladies, breakfast is getting cold. I smell carbs. Why does he always do this? Because he's trying. Because that's what we do, right? We rise above and we make it work. Mi amor, princesa. Coming. I mean, it was just so much simpler before. I know. It was. But I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. I mean, look at us. We're complete. We're like one big happy family now. Not a scarps. <laughs> I want like that one. <laughs> See you down there. <laughs> no, that's so cute. You want a coffee? Yes, please. Oh, hey, gorgeous. I love you in these. Wait a minute. I can't. Um. Good morning. Pancakes? So, big day today? We're still about two weeks out. Are you nervous? Emma doesn't get nervous. Not like her auntie. She's got this. We actually finished learning the dance routine today. Short, like, four, eight counts. Then we have to make a speech. We present it to everybody, and everyone votes. And the winner is dance team captain junior year. Wow. Any competition? Steph, but, I mean, not really, you know? I don't know. The Igame. I'm kind of awesome. <laughs> and Espanol? I take French. Je suis génial. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you're really Cuban. <laughs> Soy asombrosa. I mean, sure, I'm just a huge Cuba fan, but I don't know, there could be some Cuban blood in me somewhere. I'm gonna get you fluent by the end of the year. Steph's mom runs pediatrics. Rachel and I have been friends for years. Oh, well, may the best dancer win. <sighs> Try them. They're gluten-free, zero calorie, high protein. <laughs> So good. Mm. Yes. Oh, you are so funny, Mejito. You are so funny. But you can't outsmart your papa. No, you cannot. Two things he loves these days. Yummy oats and throwing his spoons. Oh. There you go. Hey, you sure you're okay with this? Okay with it? Are you kidding me? I'm... Lucky. I mean, remote classes are shorter. I get to work on my book, fix up the beast. Oh, I hate the beast. No, you love the beast. <laughs> and I get to perfect my cooking. And best of all, I get to take care of our son. And you get to put up a fence around the pool before the baby starts walking. And I get to put up a fence around the pool before the baby starts walking. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, before I forget, have either of you seen my camping knife? Mm -mm. The black one with the carved handle? We'll keep an eye out. And gracias, princesa. Come here. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> Eat your pancakes. Gross. Emma, what's wrong with Kate? <laughs> if he threw his food, there's some new ones in the dishwasher. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Rob wanted to talk to you about that. He used to lecture there. He said it's amazing. 95% of their graduates go Ivy. 
you know, since I know you're looking at Yale. Is it a boarding school? No, 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 not like that. It, it's only a couple hours away. So you could come home on the weekends. Just a second! This was Rob's idea? He just wants what's best for you. Anyways, it's just something to think about. <laughs> Good luck today. Have fun. Thanks, kiddo. I need that. Steph, you look so cute. Really? I keep telling you. It's adorbs. Right, Em? Yeah, it really suits you. You don't think it's too short? No. no. Are you kidding me? You look amazing. It looks great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Second law. Stephanie. Um, the rate of change of momentum of a body over time is directly proportional to... Ah. Who can help her out? Emma, give us the business. The rate of change of momentum of a body over time is directly proportional to the force applied and occurs in the same direction. And there it is. And now for all the marbles. What is Newton's... Sorry. Come on, huh? Don't be shy. Physics is the place to be. Okay, everyone, this is Catherine. Uh, Cat. Just Cat. Cat Sandberg. She's a transfer from upstate. I'm sure you'll all make her feel welcome. There's a spot just over there. All right, back to the big kahuna. Newton's third law of motion. Anyone? Dazzle me, Grossman. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Boom. Page 44. Hello. They moved you next to me. I know. Lucky <laughs> me. Well, consider this a housewarming, then. Still your favorite, right? You remember. Hide him under the desk so the residents don't steal them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Isn't he just everything? <gasps> Look at that hair. I know. How are you holding up? Fine. I somehow have 12,000 unread emails. How is that even possible? Oh. Hey, listen, you got a second. I just I want to run something by you. Yeah, of course. Dance team captain auditions. Oh. You two, right? Emma has been counting down the days. It is ridiculous. Yeah. The girls are already so insecure and so competitive at this age. You know how long Steph cried after she got her hair cut this weekend? So I was thinking, slumber party. Pizza, goofy games, you know, good, clean fun to just lighten it up. Take the pressure off. Emma would love that. Oh, they know you're here. <laughs> Better get in there, Doc. Just like riding a bike. <laughs> OK. Hey, let's take it from that last section again. Emma, jump in. And five, six, seven, eight. Bucket, stiff. Floppy feet, give me migraine. And face, give me face. ferocious. That was a hot mess. Okay, one more time. Steph, jump in for Emma. Emma, we need more practice from you. And five, six, seven, eight. Watch your spacing. And face. We ferocious. Better. Okay, girls. Catch your breath. Great job, Stephanie. Bye, guys. See ya. Emma, you coming? They need a few minutes. Don't worry, you'll get it. Emma! 
up? Hey, Nathan. Need a ride? I'm right around the corner. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, next time then? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, later. Bye. Welcome back, Big Chase. I want to make sure you all have your cameras on and no cat emoticons this time. <laughs> well, because last time we, it was very funny that the mouth was moving. Yeah, so make sure your cameras are on. Trevor, your camera is on. I don't like to not see your face. Okay, so here we go. This is the question that I pose to all of you. Which author of all the novels that we've studied best represents the heart and soul of Cuba? Arenas? Infante Carpentier. <laughs> now, some of you are even going to make an argument for Batura that I would be happy to read. You know, I just think that uh, if you go back and review Chapter 5, Carpentier, you're going to find... Well, what I want you guys to do is enjoy yourself in the class. Watching him. I was watching him. I don't know what happened. The door was closed. No, it was not closed. Jesus, do you realize what could have just happened? Okay, let's just calm down. Are you okay? Down. No, no, no. I'm not gonna calm down. This is why I wanted a fence around the pool. This is exactly I know, I know, what I was I afraid of. Look, kids come into my ER all the time after falling in the family pool, and it is always, always too late to save them. Do you understand? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. All right? Let's just. I'm gonna get a bent foot up around this pool and let's all just breathe. Just don't. Angela. delicious. Thank you. Now, hopefully we can just have a nice dinner and forget about the mistake that I made earlier. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, where is this? I'm so sorry. Oh. Well, I don't know what happened. This is really salty. Oh, Emma, don't eat that. Can I order Chinese? Sure. Interested, but I so gave him your phone number. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Should we like him better to sit with us or whatever? You're too nice, Steph. I'll do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emma. I know. Uh, those are my friends, Steph and Lola. We dance. I'm sorry. If you want, you can, like, sit with us. No, thanks. Seriously? You don't recognize me, do you? Should I? Bye, Emma. Well, the offer still stands if you get bored or whatever. Only stupid people get bored.
Well, she said maybe later. Hey, Emma, can you come in here for a minute? Mm hmm Yeah, what's up? Robert and I have some amazing news. Mm-hmm. Did, did you want to tell her, or do you want me to tell no, her? No, you tell her, okay. you tell her. Robert called in a few favors, got you accepted to St. Crispin's for your junior and senior year. I'm doing so well here, though. Well, then you'll probably do really good there. Yeah. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, this is incredible. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Oh, and hey, I found my knife. Good. <laughs> well, good news all around. Yeah. Yay! You know, we should celebrate. How about tomorrow I make some steak? Oh, yes, please. That okay. would be awesome. Sounds great. Yes, can't wait. Yeah, I can meet you at noon. Mm -hmm. No, that's the earliest. I can be there. I have two appointments. so far and I like it anywhere <laughs> you can't smoke in here no so where'd you transfer from st. Alden's oh my god so you two like know each other ish I went by Katie back then you should have said something you think you're smart would have figured it out eventually or not so wait you knew that kid who drowned. And that teacher? Yeah. Well. Sorry about your dad. It's fine. I think maybe we should ask her. Us, yeah. Okay. I'm having a slumber party at my place tomorrow. It's more of a dance team thing, but you should totally come. Maybe. See you around, Emma. Oh, that sounds good. And this is for you. Thank you. De nada. Mm. You know that what? sounds like a Let me go. cry. Let me go. No, 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 I got it. Let sure. me just do this. Can you watch this? I will watch this. I'll be right back. I'll do my best. Is that your phone? Oh, uh, 
Done it. It's in the office. Uh, okay. Okay, you watch these. I'll be two minutes. Okay. Hello? Hey, yes, we're definitely still on for 10. Okay. All clean. All clean, good boy. Robert? Come on! Robert! The fire extinguisher is under the sink. A Emma, no, don't. supposed to be watching it. I was watching it. I don't know what happened. I left it with Emma. I had to go to the bathroom. I was gone for two seconds. It's not my fault. Well, then whose fault is it? Okay, quiet. Please, both of you. Should we just do takeout again? Takeout's fine. You know, it costs the same whether you talk or not. I'm aware. What is running through that brain of yours? What if the laws of physics apply to people as well? Action equal and opposite reaction? I don't think that's what Newton meant. My aunt wants to send me to a boarding school. I'm aware. And just for the record, I heard that school is outstanding. It's alumni. I believe really it's all across the country. I'm aware. I've read the brochure twice. Most girls in your shoes would be thrilled. Robert wants me out of the house. And why did he want that? Did you behave in such a way that might have precipitated his decision? Did your action cause a reaction? Maybe. So, you created a problem. And what is the proper response to a problem of our own making? Solving it. And you are good at solving problems, aren't you? Hmm. Yes, I'm very good at solving problems. Thank you, Dr. March. This has been incredibly helpful. I'm so glad to have been able to help you, Emma. Hmm. All right. Robert, I wanted to apologize. Uncle Robert, I just wanted to apologize for forgetting to give you back your knife. I found it next to all the pool equipment and it just slipped my mind to give it back to you. So, I'm sorry. Thank you. You know, change is hard for everyone. Mm -hmm. For me, after my dad, you know, it's just, I guess sometimes something gets in my head and maybe I'll do something I shouldn't have. I understand. Maybe this is good for us, huh? Maybe we could start over? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe St. Crispin's will be good for me. Really? Yeah. 90% of their grads go Ivy. I want to go Ivy, so I'd say those are pretty good odds. Yeah. Besides, you're doing what's best for your family and for me, so. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, come here. Yeah. Emma, do you want to ride to the party? No, Steph is right around the corner. I'm going to walk. Okay, well, have fun and just let me know if you need anything, anything at all. I will. And um, Robert told me you two are good. You have no idea how happy that makes me, honey bear.
Emma? Angela? Who did you, who did you kill? My mom, whenever I was born. Oh, <laughs> thank oh, God. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. What do you think I meant? Do you think I've actually killed someone? I'm not a psycho. <laughs> oh, crap. Turn it off. What the? Mom. Emma, honey, grab your things. I'm taking you to the hospital. Why? There's been an accident. Come on. We'll talk about this later. And Angela? Emma, come here. What happened? Um, he was pinned. That car. Always hated that car, and uh, the jack malfunctioned somehow, and he was pinned under it for God knows how long. But he's strong. He's always been strong. And so now we just have to wait and see. Hey, I know you don't want to eat right now. It's important to keep your strength up. It's what Robert want you to do. Uh, Kate? He's fine. Just put him up for his nap. The little guy doesn't even know anything's wrong. Groceries are coming in an hour. What would I do without you, honey bear? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. We're gonna make it through this, all right? Because we're gross bins. That's what we do. We rise above and we make it work. That's right. <sighs> yeah. This is Emma. Hey, Emma. It's Nathan. Hi. Steph told me about your uncle. I, I just I just wanted to check in and see how you were holding up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, OK. Uh, cool, cool. No, no, no. 
No, 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 you gotta leave that in for now. It's okay. Nod if you can hear me. Oh, that's good. Hey, do you know where you are? Okay. You're in a hospital. There was an accident and, and you got hurt. We just have to get you extubated and get you home. And with physiotherapy, you're gonna be up and walking in a few months. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Please don't, don't, don't move. Robert, do you remember what happened? Yeah. You want you want to write something? Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've been dancing with you girls for the past couple years now. I just, I don't know, we've had so much fun together. We've had so much fun together. We've, we've had Emma, so... Emma, can you come downstairs? Coming! You're home early. I have incredible news. What? Robert's gonna pull through. I knew he'd make it through. Yeah. I don't want to keep him in there a minute longer than he has to be. So we're going to set him up down here. I'm bringing in a nurse, physical therapist. <laughs> He's going to be up and walking before we know it. Has he said anything? He's had flashes. What kind of flashes? Nothing specific. That's it. I remember everything that happened to me. Yeah, well, you're special, Emma. I know. And you're the first person he asked about when he came to. What did he say? He asked if you were all right. He loves you, honey bear. I need to go and practice. Elections tomorrow. Okay. The fun. What's going on? You haven't heard? No. Things have been kind of busy at my place. Where's Steph? Not coming. Why? Somebody totally stole her dog out of her backyard last night, and this morning some jogger found it. And? It was dead, Emma, like chopped up and stabbed and blood and guts everywhere. That is so horror movie. Do they know who did it? Some psychopath. The world's full of them. That's why there's so many podcasts. Hey. But before us at the moment, Stephanie Lowford. She's not here to audition, obviously, and for good reason. So the question becomes, is she still eligible for captain next year? I say yes. I mean, it's not her fault someone went all stabby-stab on her pup. She really wants this, and she's been working super hard. Any opposed? Emma. Um... I just wanted to say that I agree with Lola. I think that we all do. Girls? Okay, then let's get to it. Anyone still interested in running for captain, come up here and tell us why you think you'd be the best to lead the team. And then afterwards, we're gonna vote by secret ballot. And yes, you can still vote for Stephanie. So, who's first? The floor is yours. Um, I've been dancing with you girls for the past couple years now, and I just feel like we have so much fun together. I just really want to make sure that we make good memories together, because I want to be able to look back on them whenever all old and gray, I guess, <laughs> and be able to say, damn, dance team was really sick. And I just, you know, uh, like I said, I just really want to keep on making great memories with you guys. I love you all. And I don't know, I guess that's my speech. Please vote for me as dance captain. If you don't know hard feelings, I guess. And yeah, go wasps! 
Okay, who's up next? Hey! Good news. Robert gets to come home in one week. I just have to sort out this room for him because of his wheelchair. That's great. And you have an interview with St. Crispin's this weekend. They just want to touch base with you and see how you're feeling about enrollment, okay? Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Oh, how did it go? Mm. Steph won. I am so happy for her. Emma, do you want to talk about it? No, no, I don't. Sorry, excuse me. Emma. Yeah, right here. Don't you worry, I got many years experience. Welcome home. That's good to hear. Excellent. Since there is a teen in the household, the medicine cabinet must remain locked at all times. Okay. Take one key and keep it on your person, always, and I'll have mine as well. Okay. Emma. Hey, come in, princess. Don't be shy. My niece, Emma. Emma, this is Cora. She's gonna be with us during the day to help out with Robert. Hi. Hi. Uh, if you ever need anything, just let me know. I'm thinking about going into medicine like my aunt. Excellent. You should be so proud. Yeah. Nice to have you back inside the house. It's so good to be home. How do you feel? Mm, very, very bad. Pain meds in 20 minutes. I'm in so much pain right now. Yeah, the point is to get you weaned off, not get you hooked. Right, I just, can you tell that to my hips and my legs? Robert. I'm fine. Do you remember what happened? No. No, I was just black. Uh, restroom? Yeah, let me show you. The bathroom's just Are you thirsty? brought you this. That way, you can always feel close to him. It's very thoughtful, Emma. Thank you. I'm trying to stick at it like, as long as I can. Uh, you think you could give us a second? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, absolutely. I'll just meet you in class. Okay. Bye. What? What do you want? So that's what now? Six? Six what? Six unfortunate coincidences. But the last one didn't really work out the way you wanted it to, did it? Steph still beat you. I know all about you. <laughs> Do tell. Where should I start? With the housekeeper falling down the stairs, Milo drowning, Mrs. Ellis' car wreck, a babysitter burning to death, a dad getting shot, a step-uncle getting crushed by a car, and now a dog getting chopped up in a park. Coincidences? Or a pattern. Stray cat has claws. You've been busy. If I've really been that busy, you might want to be careful. Or what? I'll tell everyone. Tell them what? The truth. Emma? You, you coming? I'll be there in a second. Accidents happen all the time to people. Especially people like you. People like me.
People who hurt themselves? I may have hurt myself. But it's really you I feel sorry for. And you shouldn't worry about me, silly. I feel bad for you. You'll always be alone. Maybe. At least I won't be you, kitty cat. People. What the hell's wrong with you? You okay? She's insane. What's going on here? She, she slapped, slapped me. Nothing. Cat. That's detention. Piss off. For a week. Whatever. Hell. Nathan, please take her to the nurse's office. Of course. Come on. Why don't you just relax for the rest of the period? Let me know if you need anything. What is it, honey bro? Nothing. Come on. Come on. It's me. <sighs> All right, I get it. It's been a rough couple of weeks. But, I mean, how's school? It's okay. Okay. There's this girl. Her name is Kat. She transferred from St. Alden's. Oh. Wow. Um, did you know her? Was she in the same grade as you? Not really. I mean, she's just been saying some really awful things to me lately. About? About Milo. Mrs. Ellis. My dad. You know, she thinks I had something to do with it. Everything that happened to us. I wasn't gonna say anything. She hit me today. What? Yeah, and I... Just with everything that's been going on lately, I mean, it's just awful. Hey, I promise you, I am gonna squash this real quick, okay? I'm gonna make a phone call first thing in the morning. Come here. Okay. This is just a rough. We are going to get through this. I promise. Okay, it's okay. So is there any good news? I mean, there's this boy. Really? He's cute. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear that you'll look into it. I want it taken care of immediately. Yes, and if you don't plan on calling Kat's parents, then I will. Okay, all right then. Thank you. More good news, I take it. <sighs> I wish. Hmm. How's Steph? Oh, she's uh, a bit better now that the shock has worn off. Harold promised to buy her a new dog this summer. They still haven't figured out who did this? Oh, no, a, a jogger saw someone walking the dog. We got a little on our security cam, but nothing determined it. Who does something like that? Who would kill an innocent animal? Harold thinks I'm crazy, but I could have sworn that it was a young woman in that footage. I'll send it to you. Yeah. But tell Emma congratulations on backup dance team captain. Steph said she was very sweet about it. I will let her know.
very disappointing. What is? Your continued harassment of Emma Grossman. We don't condone violence at the school. Okay, listen, it was not my fault. I was just... Uh, Stephanie Lofords had a seizure. Her midazolam is missing. I've called 911 and they're on their way. Rachel, I hate something happened at the school. What have you done? Nothing. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? No, I would never. I'm not mad, Emma. I'm not. I just need to know the truth. About? Everything. Did you do something to your friend Stephanie? She had a seizure. How could that have been my fault? Her dog? That wasn't me. Emma, I saw you. I saw you no, on the ring door didn't. camp. I did, Emma. This is your sweater. No! Stop I... lying to me! Tell me the truth! Emma, hey, tell me! God, okay? I'm sorry! All right, God, that... I let her dog out, okay? I just, I wanted to be dance captain so bad. Stephanie, she just... She makes me so angry. So I just... I thought I wanted to hurt her, and I let her dog out. I thought it was gonna come back. I thought they would find it. I'm sorry. I, I promise. I promise I didn't hurt it. I swear. Okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. Oh, God. It's okay. What would you give me for a basket of hugs, Aunt Angela? Mm. See, this isn't so bad. A little cold. It's 57 degrees. Fresh air builds the immune system. You know, in Russia, they used to bundle up children and have them take a nap in the snow in the winter. True story. Do you want to know what the Cubans think of the Russians? I... What the hell? Oh. What? All right. need a favor? Yeah, of course. Can you bring him back inside in a little while? A uh, minor disaster to deal with. Don't worry, I got it. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, it's good. I got it handled. Hey? Yeah, hi, Nathan. It's Emma. <laughs> what are you doing?
No, I'm not doing anything. <coughs> no, yeah, I'm good. It's a little chilly out. <laughs> Emma, exciting. I want to get inside and warm up. Take my meds. Can you help me in there? Oh, whatever. Emma? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's nothing. Yeah. I know that. Emma! Hmm. Yeah, no, no. Finishing up call, I'm sorry. I can do it myself. Z! Z! I was sure I was coming back to get you. You couldn't have waited a few more minutes. Just give me a sign. All right. So, what's his name? Nathan. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope he's not as stubborn as this one. Angela's been at the hospital all day. I already fed Cade. I hope you're not mad about it earlier. You fool so many. But not me. Not anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? I remember everything. I know it was you. What are you going to do about it? This is what I'm going to do. I love my wife, and she loves you. So hurting you hurts her, and I don't want that. Not after what happened to her brother. So I am going to get better. And I'm not going to say anything. In exchange for what? You will go to boarding school and leave the baby and us alone. I don't want to do either of those things. Well, then I'm going to tell the truth. And Angela will be hurt, but you will be hurt way more. No Ivy League. No happy life. No nothing. You will be locked away forever, completely alone. Comprende? Tio. Entiendo claramente. Qué bueno que tuvimos esta conversación. Te tengo en la mida, mejita. What's that for? It's for you. Keep you company. Keep an eye on you. Where are you going? I'm going to visit an old family friend. She'll be back in a couple of hours, okay? Okay. What about Cade? I'm taking him with me. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. It's fine. You go. Enjoy yourself. Okay. How's that hip? It's actually, yeah, it's still there. It'll heal. Okay. Come on. I love you.
to go for a car ride? Okay, you're going to sleep the whole way, right? No? Okay, let's go. Ryan, hi. Thank you. How was the drive? Oh, it's not bad. Haven't been out this way since, well, you know. Well, I'm glad you reached out. I've been, uh, wanted to reach out to you, too. It's just, I haven't been able to work up the nerve to call you. It's, it's been eating at me. What happened? What I had to do? Stop right there, David! I will not let you hurt that girl. I'm going to move on, too. You ask away anything you need to know. My brother, when he first arrived with Emma, what did he say? I mean, how did he act? Did he... Did he seem crazy? Oh, he seemed steady. Not crazy. Just sad, I guess. But it was clear as day that he adored that little girl. How is she, by the way? How's Emma? She's not so little anymore. It's a shame what happened. And I am so sorry. No, no, please don't. I know that he was threatening her, and I know that you were trying to protect her. So please, did he say anything to you before it happened, before you had to shoot him? Well, he was obviously unwell. But... But? If one thing that stood out, Thing he said I'll never be able to forget. What? He said... There's something wrong with her. I need to protect her from herself. And that's it. What if I told you... He also said that she would do it again? Do you know what that might mean? No. Emma, what are you doing here? Just checking on you. Making sure you're still breathing. This is cute. Leave it alone. Emma, did you hear that thunder? Mm. It seems like storm is coming in. It sounds like a doozy. Is there anything I can help you with before you head out? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I just want to get out before the storm hits. Mm. Yeah, but thank you. You're welcome. Okay, honey. <laughs> Are you warm enough? Mm. Yeah, okay, see you. Take care. All right, bye. Answer the phone. What do you want, Emma? Hi. Cat, I didn't think you'd pick up. Well, I did. Uh, Come on, Cora. Pick up, pick up. I just kind of need someone to talk to. Do you think you could come over? Yeah, I just... A good person deep down okay just can't go on like this 
If you come over, I promise I'll tell you everything. Everything? Everything. Please. I just... I'm so tired of being alone. Plus, I really need to talk about Nathan. I really like him, and I don't know what to do about it. Maybe you could just give me advice or something, right? Okay, Emma. But only if you tell me everything. Really? Yeah, I actually invited Kat over to try and clear the air a little bit. I think that's great, yeah. Yeah. She shouldn't stay too long, though, so maybe you can come over in, like, an hour or so? Really? Th that, that'd be cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah. She'll probably be here any minute, though, so I gotta let you go. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. They made us hot chocolate. Just like my dad used to make. How is it? Good, I guess. Mm. What's up with Nathan? Is that what you want to talk about, Emma? I just... I never really know how to act around him. Well, if you like him, just be yourself. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. I never really have anyone to talk to. Not really. Maybe there's a reason for that. It's hard to be different. You know, things have been kind of crazy lately. How so? My uncle, my step-uncle, he wanted to send me to a boarding school. Thought I was going to do something to the baby. Did you? The baby's fine. Your uncle isn't. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law. That's basic physics. Ah! Accidents happen. Hurry up. Hurry up. Steph. An accident. Exactly. And her dog? Oh, that was so tragic. And Milo, and Mrs. Ellis, and your dad, and your own dad. He started it. How? Hot chocolate. How was it, by the way? Mm. Don't spill on my rug. Mm. There it is. Ah, it's taking so long, I thought it may not work. Oh. 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 What did you give me? Get away with this? She's so more dramatic. Hey, you want to see something cool? <gasps> 911, what's your emergency? Oh my god, please help me! My name is Emma Grossman. There's this girl, she's insane! I invited her over to come and have hot chocolate, and she started a fire. She's attacking me. Please help me! Ah! 
That was the sound of me getting away with it. Works every time. <laughs> I'm a psycho. <laughs> That's fun to say. Too bad no one will ever hear that. This is Levia, Milo, Mrs. Ellis, Chloe, my dad, Stephanie, and that ridiculous dog. You, Uncle Robert. You guys all just cause too much trouble. Don't mess with psychos. Really. What did I just say? I mean, what are you trying to do with this? What are you gonna do, cry? Please. You don't have to do this. Just go to sleep already. All right. I hate to say it, but this is getting a little boring. Thank you for the advice about Nathan. Just be myself. I'll try. This wouldn't have been possible without you. You really are the best friend I've ever had. I'm up. Angela, are you home? Ugh. Hello? Equal and opposite reactions. 
to be honest, it was probably always going to end up this way. God. I am sorry, Robert. Sort of. Angela! Emma! And Angela! Emma! What did you do? What? He was right about you. What are you talking about? Your dad! My brother, he loved you more than anything, but he was right. You're a monster! You don't mean that. Dad just tried to kill us! Sire! What did you do to her? To Robert! What did you do, Emma? Angela! No. Don't go. take you in until everything gets sorted. I'm so sorry, Emma. I can't imagine how difficult this is for you. I left my aunt and my uncle. Can Kate and I at least stay together? We'll do our best. He's the only family I have left. I need to make a few calls. Is there anything you need? Emma, you know this isn't your fault. <laughs> 